Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and happy Sheetload of Cards Day. I am so excited today to share with you the November 2021 Sheetload of Cards. I hope you'll stick around, see what the sketch looks like, see my first set and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The first of the month always means it's time for a new sheet load of cards. In today's video, I'll be sharing a look at the latest printable with you, which is free as always to subscribers of my channel. Then I'll share with you the supplies I use to make it, a look at my first set, and at the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can download the printable for free as long as you are a subscriber to my channel. Now, if you're new to Sheetload of Cards and you're not quite sure what it's about, each month I come out with a two-page printable. On the first page is a sketch and supply list. And what I do is I have that sketch and then I tell you how to make the most out of your paper to get a sheet load of cards. Now, a sheet load is usually anywhere between six and 12 cards using anywhere from like two pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper. And today we'll be using six pieces of six by six. Yes, this is a special six by six paper edition. I know that many of you have been asking for more of those, so I hope that you'll enjoy this month. On the second page of the printable are the cutting guides, and I tell you how to cut each piece of paper and cardstock so you can make those cards. Let's go ahead and take a look at this month's printable. Over on page one, you will see the sketch for this month. Now this is another one of those where I started with kind of the cutting pieces from the 6x6 in my head and then made a card out of it. Now I'll be back tomorrow with the full process of how to make the cards. But if you do get started early, make sure to read the notes here and take heed of the little extra sketch here. You are going to be hiding an opening with another piece of pattern paper. Now, speaking of tomorrow, my team of collaborators will also be sharing their first sets of the month. Make sure if you're not already subscribed to them here on YouTube or follow their Instagram or blogs that you do that so you're all ready for tomorrow. Everybody is linked in that description box below. Also on page one at the top, you're going to have the hashtags that I would love for you to use if you're going to play along. I do like to do searches for those here on YouTube and over on Instagram so I can see what you're creating. Next, we have the supplies needed. Like I mentioned before, this month you're going to need six pieces of six by six pattern paper. Now, I will show you later what I mean, but you'll probably want to get two sets of three pieces that kind of go together. And then those three pieces will make up your one card. You're also going to need three solid card stocks for your sentiments and your matting. I will tell you here in just a little bit how you can maybe change that. And then finally, three solid card socks for your card bases. Next up, you have your yield, which is six, and then the dimensions for a single card. So if you really like this layout, but you don't necessarily need six of them, you can just cut your pieces to the dimensions given here. On the bottom, I give you a few alternatives, such as maybe rotating the sketch, or if this is not big enough for your sentiment, you can make it a different size. And also on this month, I have a suggestion for a little kind of um, thread nest here behind the sentiment, but you could do a die cut or you could put an image there. You can use this as your jumping off point and just make it fit what you need and what you have. Page two is going to be your cutting guides. And I try to show down here how you have two sets of three patterns that go together and each piece will be cut in the same way. 
Now, it does call for three pieces of cardstock for sentiments and matting, but for your sentiments, you could definitely use scraps. You do not need to use a full piece of cardstock just to get those few little strips. Also new this month, down on the bottom right, I have my Instagram account. I would love for you to follow me over on Instagram if you hang out there. I do have a link all the way at the bottom of the description box if you want to check that out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies I use for my cards. For my pattern papers today, I use the Cartabella Welcome Winter 6x6 paper pad. I recently shared this in a haul during my Stamp Joy 2021 vlog series. The last day we were in Des Moines, we stopped by Memory Bound Scrapbooks, and this was one of the two paper pads I picked up. I thought this would work super well for the time of year and for this month's sketch. Now, speaking of that vlog series, if you're watching this video before about November 6, 2021, on my final vlog, vlog number four, which I will link below, I have a giveaway to Tailored Expressions for a $50 gift certificate. I hope you'll check out that video, find out how you can play along and be entered to win. From this paper pad, I chose three different sets of three pattern papers. One of each I had be kind of louder or with more colors and more design. And then the two that go with it, I use colors from the paper, but just more subtle patterns. You know I love a wood grain. For my sentiments, since they are just those skinny strips, I thought this set from Gina K Designs would work well. This might have been a free gift with purchase, I'm not sure. It is called Seasonal Greetings. If I can find it on the store, I will link that in the description box below. For my card stocks, I got out Desert Storm for my card bases and my matting. And then I got out some scraps of card stock that I'm gonna try to use with this Tim Holtz Scribbles die. And that will be in place of the thread nest. I have used this many times in place of those on my sketches. So usually I use it with vellum. I'm hoping that I can get this to work with the cardstock. And I just got out some scraps of Gina K Designs Fresh Asparagus. Let's go ahead and take a look at that first set of cards. I hope you enjoyed that little peek at my first set using the November 2021 sheet load of cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now, here is how you can download the printable for free. As always, I do ask that you are subscribed to my channel for this free printable. We do just go on the honor system here. I don't make you email me or do anything to prove that you're a subscriber, but please, before you click on the link below to download or view the file, make sure that you have already clicked on that subscribe button. It is free and easy to do. You can find this month's link down in the description box below the links for my blog team members. You can click on that link and view it on screen to create your cards, or you can download it to your device and print it out. That is completely up to you. And also, even though I have printed mine in color, you can definitely print this in black and white if that's all you have access to. Don't forget that I'll be back tomorrow to show you how I made these cards with a couple tips along the way, and my collaboration team will be joining me as well. Until then, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.
Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.